highly productive and biologically diverse, the California coast is made up of a variety of habitats, from kelp forests to eelgrass beds. But what makes this environment so different than the coral reefs of the Caribbean? Join Garrett Knoll as he investigates the ecological jivers behind these environments and discover the incredible fish that call these places home. It's Garrett Knoll, Adventures Under the Sea. The waters off the coast of California are extremely productive due to a process known as coastal upwelling. Upwelling is most common along the west coast of continents. Winds blowing across the ocean push surface water away to allow deep, cold, nutrient-rich water to rise. This rich supply of nutrients fuels coastal ecosystems, feeding diatoms, algae, zooplankton, and the large kelp forests under the sea. Kelp forests provide shelter for an astonishing variety of creatures, including fishes, marine mammals, and crustaceans. Our journey begins 26 miles off the coast of Southern California in the kelp forests surrounding Santa Catalina Island. Kelp is a type of brown seaweed only found in cold waters over rocky substrates and can grow up to a foot a day. Hold fast. Anchor the kelp to the bottom, and air-filled sacks attached to their blades allow them to float in the photic zone. Found in dense clusters, these forests form a complex, multi-storied environment that provides a sheltered habitat for a great diversity of life. While swimming through the kelp forests, you might see a jolt of glowing orange, a reminder that Garibaldi's are relatives of coral reef damselfish. Many people believe that the fish found on the west coast of the United States are bland and colorless, but the Garibaldi isn't. Garibaldis are only found from Baja California to Monterey Bay, and La Jolla Cove near San Diego is one of the best places to spot them. Garibaldis are fiercely territorial and feed on sponges and algae that grow around their rocky homes, as well as small animals such as tube worms, nudibranchs, and bryozoans. Juvenile garibaldis are brownish orange with sparkling spots of blue. Stingrays and sharks hide along the bottom in kelp forests and eelgrass beds. The shovelnose guitarfish is a funny looking fish with the body of a ray and the tail of a shark. It buries itself in the sand and lies in ambush waiting for unwary crabs or flatfish to wander by. When a crab or fish gets near, the guitarfish erupts out of the sand and gulps down its meal. If you are lucky, you might even be able to find a horn shark among the eelgrass. The horn shark is a small, elusive shark that has a pig-like face. It hides in caves or seaweed during the day and emerges at night to hunt sea urchins, crabs, and small fishes. The horn shark gets its name from the large spines near their dorsal fins, and only grows to about three feet. Across the North American continent, in the warm waters of the Caribbean Sea, the ecosystem is a desert. Coral reefs are found in warm, shallow, nutrient-poor waters, but they are among the most diverse habitats in the world. They accomplish this feat by recycling nutrients very effectively. The Caribbean islands of Martinique and Dominica are surrounded by these coral reefs. Corals themselves are tiny animals that live in large colonies. The reef is built up over time by the calcium carbonate skeletons secreted by these living colonies. Each coral polyp has a photosynthetic symbiont 
known as zooxanthellae, living inside its cells. These symbionts harness energy from the sun and transfer it to the polyp in exchange for their waste products. The waste products act as a fertilizer for the zooxanthellae. This relationship forms the base of the coral reef food web, and without them, none of the fish could survive in the ocean desert. The reef is also composed of sponges, invertebrates, and algae. Coral reefs play host to an assemblage of fish species. The smooth trunkfish is one of the strangest looking fish found in the Caribbean. Trunkfish are the nearest approximation among fish to turtles. They have a small mouth which is armed with strong, crescent teeth that they use to feed on coral polyps. Like turtles, trunkfishes are slow-moving animals, which swim by undulating their dorsal and pectoral fins back and forth. Their gaudy colors act as a warning to predators that they are not to be messed with. This warning should be taken seriously, because the smooth trunkfish secretes a colorless toxin from glands on its skin when it is under duress. The toxin will kill fish, even as large as nurse sharks, if they try to eat them. Due to the overfishing of large predatory fish, like sharks and groupers, increased runoff, adding too much nutrients to the water, increasing algal growth, and the invasion of voracious lionfish, there has been a fundamental change in the structure of food chains in the Caribbean reefs. Although kelp forests and coral reefs may look very different, they are both extremely productive ecosystems that support a variety of amazing marine organisms. Kelp forests rely on upwelling to bring cold, nutrient-rich water to the surface, while coral reefs thrive in warm, shallow, nutrient-poor waters by recycling nutrients with the help from their symbiotic bacteria. Stay tuned next week for another Adventure Under the Sea!